Good morning, party people. Welcome to the channel oh, with shit. Nathan, Texty Boy Johnny. Damn it, you didn't warn me that. When we press record and you hear it go beep, that means it's recording and we need to do the video now. And you can get off your freaking phone. Well, at times like this, you've got to let me know when you're going to press record. Today we're checking out the brand new track from Fit for King featuring Jonathan Visual of The Ghost Inside. Times like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm here all day. Uh, I actually won't. fucking have been here all day. It's been a long day. It's been a big one. <laughs> However, we're so excited because we love Fit for King and we love The Ghost Inside. We really do. Full disclosure, I have heard this track um, and... <laughs> It's such a banger. It, I, I have said to Nate that this could be my uh, favourite track of the album, but uh, it's just sit back and relax. I haven't listened to it yet because waiting to share this with you guys. Uh, I yeah. didn't know they were going to release a, a video for it though, so Why I was just like, me? Uh, because I've got headphones on. You know, you do the old guy thing. <laughs> okay, so story time. Does anyone remember like back in the day? Shut up, Nathan. When you used to go to the uh, the record store, shut up, Nathan. And to listen to music, you have to ask the the person at the counter to put please put this CD on for you. And you'd stand there listening to it uh, with your headphones on in front of like the whole fucking store, vibing if you wanted to buy it. And then it would always be up really loud. And you'd always be talking like this in the store. It's really good, man. I think I'll buy it. No, I did it. What Johnny's referring to is back in the day they had gramophones <laughs> and they had the big fucking thing and he's... Stop! <laughs> oh, three, two, one! Like and subscribe, you fuckers. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You say you know this. You went too long here then, baby girl. You didn't get it on the... Oh, mate, I haven't listened to it 45 times. Still. And you know, when I finger blast, I get excited and I can't stop my fingers. They just keep blasting. Can you please blast the space bar so we can get into this chorus? With your finger. I feel ill. <laughs> We're Got that double kick. So good. Come on. I have to pause it there. That's okay. Love the. It's not just a whoa, 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 it's a whoa, whoa. And then it, they play with it a little bit more there. It isn't just your standard whoa, whoa. Yeah. It's. This is just, and I've said it on the last few songs, but bringing back that, just the, not the modern gent sort of style metalcore, but bringing that early 2000s metalcore back, modern production, a modern approach, and just doing it so well. Yeah, this, is this reminds me, honestly, why I fell in love with metalcore. Oh, what a compliment.
Fuck yeah! His voice is so huge. Yeah, he has such a great mid-range yep. scream. Super full. Super. Yeah, it's so it's, big. It's massive. It's huge. It's you can really hear fantastic. where dudes like JT get their inspiration from from him. Yes, yeah, sure. JT from Era. Um, they just have such power. Yeah. yeah I've got to say, though, Ryan's vocals is so strong in this, too. Both the clean and the screams. And he's really yeah. showcasing his range, too. Man, he's just... Phenomenal. He's such a good vocalist. Like, he's so well-rounded, and he's got so much in his wheelhouse. Uh, we'll talk about it more. Let's finish off, though. This is so sick. so good it's just so fun it's relentless it's heavy it, it's accessible it's just so good it's that to me in my opinion for what i like is perfectly executed metalcore it's just 10 out of 10 executed metalcore it's so great would you say it's magnifique 100 percent. i knew you would magnificent that's Nah, you should have Almost stopped. dropped a C bomb there. <laughs> Yikes. Oh. First on the channel. Oh, <laughs> By accident. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so good, man. He's I voice... can't believe you'd say that. Oh, you can't keep doing that. Anyway. You can't just use the joke I literally just did. Can't I? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh... Well, what do you think of the song? Yeah, I love the song. I just great. have to deal with you sometimes. Um, I love that. I love that. You're absolutely right. That is exactly what that early 2000s metalcore yeah. that drew me in so hard was done so, so well. I think that was a really great guest feature. Mm. We've talked about it before, and I would have loved to have probably more of Jonathan. That's just me being greedy. You know what? I do agree. I would have liked to have him maybe doing some counter counter screams like uh, call and response in After the final it? chorus. Yeah, agreed. Um, I get why they didn't, but at the same time, yeah, you know, that, that that's just like you said, us being greedy. That doesn't take away from the song for me. Um, no, 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 not at all. It had so many so many things that made metalcore so special for me back in the day, and things are obviously the huge chorus mm -hmm. um, and. The heaviness of the verses, a huge breakdown, dual guitar, harm, like harmonized oh, solo, they were so wailing. good. Yeah. But even things like other things, like the really good metalcore bands were able to add that that really driving metal influence into the song, like the constant double kicks over such a catchy chorus. Yeah. Uh, and another thing that the really good metalcore bands did was they always had not only a catchy chorus and woe woes and things like that but a really, really catchy and repetitive um, moment in the instruments. And for me, this one, it was the... Yep. Yeah, yeah. You know, bands like uh, Atreyu, As I Lay Dying, It Dies Today, they were all really good at doing that stuff. And yeah, like, look, you, a lot of people say that metalcore gets a little bit repetitive, uh, but as, as I've said plenty of times, if something's done right, then it works. Uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Uh, yep. George, Johnny's a dickhead. All those things that people say regularly. And just always finger blast. Ooh. Even if you finger blast for a little bit too long and Nathan picks you up on it. I'm sorry about that. 
That's okay. Just learn from your mistakes. I'll, I'll try and be better. You I'll, definitely I, I need to be better from your mistakes. <laughs> you continue missing drops and overdoing it. I got that one. I got that drop. I hope so. You know this all before. <laughs> you know what, though? What, what you want? Before you ask them what they thought, because that's what you're going to do. Uh, if I hadn't heard the song, though, I would have come in early because the, the tagline for the vocal went a little bit longer. And I yeah. would have come in half a beat early. And joining us, always coming early. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Tell us what you thought in the comments <laughs> below. Not about the cum thing. <laughs> oh, why the cum thing? <laughs> <laughs>